The vicious attack on the Service and Remuneration Commission and the threats to disband it are indeed very unfortunate and unwarranted, given that the Salaries and Remuneration Commission is an independent constitutional commission uh, that is not subject to direction and or control by any person or authority. We urge all politicians of goodwill to reject the proposed petition by the MP for Igemben South to disband the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. We must respect our institutions, even in those instances when we do not agree with their decisions. While unveiling the new salary structures for state officers, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission revealed that the government will save up to Kenya shillings 500 million annually. That may look small. However, in, the five, year, in five years, these savings will amount to Kenya shillings 30 billion, which, is de which if deployed effectively and efficiently, will sufficiently contribute to the development and the realization of the social economic rights conferred by Article 43 of the Constitution. Using the, right to, using the right to education as an example, the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology annual, an, Technology's annual spending per child in primary school is about Kenya shillings 4,400. If the thir Kenya shillings 30 billion was to be allocated to primary school educations, it would be enough to see 852,272 poor children through to standard eight through, through eight years of schooling that is from standard one to standard eight if this money was to be allocated for the tarmacking of roads and at the estimated cost of kenya shillings 20 million per kilometer of road the amount would would actually deliver in terms of tarmacked well-made road kenya shillings a, a, a total of kilometers 1500 kilometers which would open up the country and enable those who are in marginalized areas of this country to have access. The Kenya National Commission is encouraged with, with that since this his election, the President, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, has been consistently speaking about the need to prioritize things that matter to most Kenyans, including maternal health, education, resettlement of IDPs, security, and, the, and, and finally also creating employment. You will all recall in 2007, after the Bangor elections, and uh, we, we decided to send the ECK then away. You remember the hurdles that we faced, because those commissioners and their staff, they also have their rights as employees. You remember we had to pay off uh, those commissioners of ECK and the staff for the remainder of their term. If you are to disband the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, the commissioners and their staff, they are still entitled because they have, I think they have only served one year um, or two years. They will have, they have four years to go. So we'll have to pay all of them uh, the monies, and we know, all know how much it is, and then we set up a new body. So I hope they do not manage to disband it, because that would be tragic for this country constitutionally. But even they did, what, at what cost to the taxpayers? as we talk about our, the state of our economy.